Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Vice and this is the continuation video of depreciation accounting. You can find the playlist link in the description box to get the entire collection. Now in this video we are going to see depreciation fund method or sinking fund method under methods of providing depreciation. Now let's get into the video. Before we see the problem, let us try to understand what is sinking fund method. See, under this method, the amount of depreciation is calculated every year with reference to sinking fund table. Okay, and that amount is debited to depreciation account and credited to sinking fund account. At the end of each and every year, the amount of depreciation is charged to profit and loss account and the equal amount will be invested in outside securities in order to earn compound interest on investment okay so this process will continue in all the years of the life of the asset at last at the end of the year that is end of the life of the asset the investments are sold and whatever amount that the company realized from the sale of securities that be utilized for replacement of new asset okay so this is the main purpose of creating or maintaining sinking fund method okay now let's see the problem for better understanding See the problem, a company purchased a 3 year lease on 1st January 2016 for rupees 50,000. It is decided to provide for the replacement of lease at the end of 3 years by setting up a sinking fund. It is expected that the investment will fetch interest at 5%. Sinking fund tables show that to provide the requisite sum at 5% at the end of 3 years, an investment at 15,864 is required every year. Investments are made to the nearest to rupee. Okay. On 31st December 2018, that is after 3 years, the investments were sold for 31,000. On 1st January 2019, the same lease was renewed for a further period of 3 years by payment of 70,000. Show the journal entries and give the important ledger account to record the above. Okay. So first we are going to make journal entries and then we'll post it into ledger account, necessary ledger account. See, here you have to make journal entries for three years because lease is taken for three years now. Okay. First year you have to make four entries. The first entry for purchase of lease. Okay. 50,000. What is the entry? Lease account debit to bank account. Okay. And then the amount of depreciation. So according to this method, the amount of depreciation is calculated with reference to sinking fund table. Okay. Here in the problem, sinking fund table value will be there. Just multiply that factor with the original value of the asset in order to find out the depreciation. But in this problem, the depreciation amount is directly given. Okay. According to sinking fund table value. So how much? 15,000. 864 for that the entry is depreciation is debited and sinking fund credited that is the entry that is depreciation account debit to sinking fund account and the equal amount will be invested outside okay for that you have to make one entry the entry is sinking fund investment account debit to bank account okay so these are the three important entries and on the same day the amount of depreciation transfer to profit and loss account entry is profit and loss account debit to depreciation okay now see the solution see the solution journal entries first year that is on 1 1 2016 lease purchased no entry lease account debit to bank account being lease purchased for how much 50,000 rupees okay at the end of the first year on 31st December 2016 we have to calculate depreciation according to sinking fund table. But in this problem, the amount of depreciation is given according to sinking fund table value. How much? 15,864. So entry, depreciation account debit to sinking fund account. Okay, this is the entry for calculation of depreciation being the annual depreciation as per sinking fund table. Okay, and the next entry will be the equal amount of depreciation will be invested outside. Okay, for that, you have to make one entry. Entry is sinking fund investment account debit to bank account. Okay, so 15,864 being investment purchased from sinking fund. We have created sinking fund now. The amount will be invested in 
outside okay so this is the entry sinking fund investment account debit to bank account and then the amount of depreciation on the same day the amount of depreciation transferred to profit and loss account entry profit and loss account debit to depreciation account okay being depreciation transfer to profit and loss account so these are the important entries you have to make at the first year at the end of the year we have to make three entries okay this is the entry for purchase of lease okay now let's see the journal entries at the end of the second year okay see in the first year end of the first year we invested the equal amount of depreciation on sinking fund investment right okay and for that value we are going to receive interest in the end of the second year okay so what is the interest rate just see the problem it is expected that the investment will fetch interest at five percentage okay so the return on investment is five percentage so five percentage on this value how much 763 so what is the entry for that bank account debit to interest on sinking fund investment account so this is the entry for being interest on investment received okay and then the same amount will be transferred to sinking fund account that is the interest on sinking fund investment will be transferred to sinking fund account okay the same amount this is the entry for transfer entry being interest on sinking fund investment transferred okay so these are the two entries mandatory at the end of the second year first you have to make entry for interest and then transfer interest to sinking fund account and then you have to make three important entries already we have made in the end of the first year okay you can refer the previous calculation the first entry is depreciation and then the amount is invested and then depreciation transferred to profit and loss account these are the three entries you have to repeat at the end of the second year also see at the end of the second year again you have to repeat the three entries number one depreciation account debit to sinking fund as per the sinking fund table the value is already given in the problem okay 15,864 same amount but when you invest this amount in sinking fund investment you have to transfer depreciation amount along with the interest which we have received from the last year investment how much interest we have received 793 so 793 plus this year depreciation 15,864 total 16,657 invested in sinking fund investment. So entry, sinking fund investment account debit to bank account being purchase of investment from sinking fund account. Okay. And then at last you have to transfer depreciation amount to profit and loss account. So entry, profit and loss account debit to depreciation account. Okay. Being depreciation transfer to profit and loss account. So which amount? depreciation amount 15,864 okay now we'll say the journal entry for the third year at the end of the third year now let's see the journal entries at the end of the third year okay so what is the first entry interest on sinking fund investment received entry bank account debit to interest on sinking fund investment account okay so while we receive interest we'll get interest five percentage on the first year investment amount plus second year investment amount okay so far we have made two investments right in the first year 15,864 and second year first year interest plus second year depreciation together 16,657 so altogether total amount invested is 32,521 so we'll be getting five percentage on total investment made for the last two years so how much 1,626 so this is the total interest received at the end of the third year and then this interest amount will be transferred to sinking fund account so entry interest on sinking fund account transferred to sinking fund account so interest on sinking fund investment debit to sinking fund account this is the transfer entry and then again you have to make depreciation entry at the end of the third year as per the sinking fund table what is the value 15,864 same amount so entry depreciation account debit to sinking fund account and then this depreciation amount transfer to profit and loss account so profit and loss account debit to depreciation account same amount transfer to pnl account now there is no investment in the third year because 
at the end of the third year they decided to sell the investment for 31000 see the problem see the problem at the end of the third year that is on 31st december 2018 the investment were sold for 31000 okay see the entry see on the same day that is uh, 31st december 2018 okay they have decided to sell the investment so what is the entry for sale of investment bank account debit to sinking fund investment okay so being the investment sold for how much 31000 so we have made entries for all the transaction now we need to post all these entries into different ledgers necessary ledger account now let's see the preparation of ledger account now we are going to prepare three important ledgers number one sinking fund investment account number two lease account so why we need to prepare lease account because after the end of the three years the lease amount 50,000 will be transferred to sinking fund account for that purpose we have to prepare lease account and the third one sinking fund account okay now let's see the first one sinking fund investment account let's see the journal entries for reference see the journal entries in the first year sinking fund investment account debit to bank account how much 15,864 see the second year sinking fund investment account debit to bank how much 16,657 that is depreciation amount plus interest both together we have invested right see the third year see the third year third year there is no investment in sinking fund instead we have sold off okay for how much 31,000 now we have to see these entries in the ledger see the sinking fund investment account okay so the first year how much we have invested 15,864 sinking fund investment account to bank account okay this is the closing balance by balance carry down 15,864 and this will be the opening balance for the next year okay again at the end of the second year we have purchased okay so sinking fund investment to bank account 16,864 now what is the total investment made 32,521 this is the closing balance and this will be the opening balance for next year and the third year there is no investment instead we have sold off okay so how much we have sold 31,000 what is the entry for purchase to bank for sales by bank okay sold investment for 31,000 now you will be getting balancing figure debit side 32,521 credit side only 31,000 so this is the balancing figure no this is loss this loss transferred to sinking fund account okay now let us see the lease account okay so why we need to prepare lease account because uh, at the end of the third year the lease amount will be transferred to sinking fund account the entire amount okay so what is the entry for purchase of lease lease account debit to bank account 50,000 and there is no further transaction this amount will be the closing balance and this will be the opening balance for next year again this is the closing balance again this will be the opening balance for next year and at last at the end of the third year this amount will be the lease amount will be transferred to sinking fund account okay and finally you have to prepare sinking fund account okay so the first one is uh, every year the depreciation amount is transferred to sinking fund account okay see the journal entries see the journal entries for first year for sinking fund account here depreciation account to sinking fund account so this will be transferred to sinking fund account okay again see the second year second year before we make the depreciation account uh, we have collected interest no that interest also transferred to sinking fund account so this amount need to be transferred to sinking fund account in the second year and again second year we have created depreciation and that amount transferred to sinking fund no so this has to be transferred to sinking fund account again in the third year see the third year journal entries again in the third year we have received interest on sinking fund investment no that amount is transferred to sinking fund account this amount need to be transferred to sinking fund and again in the third year end of the third year we have transferred depreciation to sinking fund account so these are the entries need to be posted into sinking fund account see the sinking fund account see the sinking fund account first year we have transferred depreciation how much 15,864 according to sinking fund table okay and this will be the closing balance for the first year 
and this will be the opening balance for next year same amount by balance brought down again in the second year we have transferred interest on sinking fund investment to sinking fund account how much 793 and then end of the second year again depreciation amount same amount transferred to sinking fund account okay now what is the total balance 32 521 and this will be the opening balance for next year by balance brought down 32 521 again at the end of the third year we have transferred interest on sinking fund investment how much 1626 and again depreciation also transferred to sinking fund account how much same amount 15864 okay now see the sinking fund investment account see the sinking fund investment account we have got balance no loss this loss transferred to sinking fund account now this will be entered under sinking fund account debit side see sinking fund account debit side to sinking fund investment this is the loss transferred from sinking fund investment account how much 1521 okay and the next one is a lease account look at lease account end of the third year we have transferred the entire 50000 to sinking fund account now this amount is entered in debit side to lease account 50000 now at the end of the third year in the sinking fund account you will be getting balancing figure either debit side or credit side in this problem we have got balancing figure in the credit side how much 1510 okay whatever may be the balance that will be transferred to profit and loss account okay now let's see the journal entries for the last three transactions number one sinking fund investment account balance and lease account balance and sinking fund account balance okay see the entries see the journal entries the first one the loss of sale of investment transfer to sinking fund no entry sinking fund account debit to sinking fund investment how much 1521 and the next one lease account balance 50000 entry sinking fund account debit to lease account being transfer of balance in lease account to sinking fund account and the last one is a sinking fund balance amount transfer to profit and loss account entry profit and loss account debit to sinking fund account 1510 okay now see the problem see the problem on 1 1 2019 the same lease was renewed for a further period of three years by payment of 70,000 last you have to make entry for this transaction okay new lease see the journal entry on 1 1 2019 new lease how much 70,000 entry new lease account debit to bank account 70,000 being new lease purchased okay so this is the way to make journal entries and prepare necessary lecture account according to sinking fund method for depreciation okay please see the description box to get the link for the entire collections hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you